A teenage girl and her boyfriend have been charged with beating the girl's grandparents to death. 17-year-old Cassandra Biorge and her boyfriend, 19-year-old Johnny Ryder, are each charged with murder and aggravated assault after police found 63-year-olds Randall and Wendy Biorge dead in their Georgia home. The bodies were discovered during a welfare check requested by family members who hadn't heard from them in about a week. Reports say the teens had friends over to the house where the bodies were decomposing. They were both taken into custody and brought to the hospital for self-inflicted wounds after a standoff with police, according to reports. Thank you. All right. There you go. You can have a seat right here. Okay. I'll pull you in a little bit. You guys have asked one? Can you uh, grab the cutters? Yep. It should scissors should be fine, right? Yeah. I got heavy duty ones. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, my hand just feels a little weird. Yeah, I bet. Alright, here are your fries. There's my wrapper. Yeah, I was getting really sick of the hospital food. I bet. And there was one point where like, I couldn't even eat. Mm. I'm just going to break the box a little bit so you don't have to like Thank elevate you. your hands over it. Thank you so much. Drop in a couple of napkins. Here, I don't think I've met you before, have I? No, 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 no. You remember their name? Coolness. 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 Really? Swear. 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 That's Miss probably coolness. that's probably why I was class clown twenty five. Miss Coolness. That's a pretty. Miss cool Coolness, name. Shannon Coolness, whatever you want. That's pretty. I mean, you look familiar. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. But I couldn't like. Let's see if Big Man wants this. I have to use the little girl's room. Okay. He'll be right back in with you. And I'll... <sighs> Don't spit in his drink. I won't. <laughs> Do you, is anything in that bag going to help you? Um, right now? No. No, because it's not utensils. Yeah. I'm just going to grab it and put it out here. Okay. If you need anything, just help me.
quickly. Oh, let me get these things off here. Okay. You are doing all right eating? Uh-huh. I was getting there. Mm-hmm. Just don't want to freaking get you. You get them? Yeah, I mean, these things are thick. Let me do it away from you yeah. so I don't... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stab me. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> just did all right. You feel right. better? Yes. Thank you. Stick these up. Let me go. I can go throw my car keys up. Well, leave it. I'm going to start eating, actually. Okay. Give me a second. Tearing that up, dude. Ugh. Got the McDonald's smell going. Did you eat my fries or no? I think she did. Actually, I did. <laughs> we could family style them. But what food? We what TV shows you been watching there? Mm, well, I think yesterday you had on, uh, was it that fishing show? Yeah, I was watching Debbie's Cat. Ooh. Um, Love that. I was watching a lot of Family Guy Even and better. the Cleveland show. I'm not down to it. I'm not down to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, a, it I was like just him as, I like him as a character in Family Guy, but I don't like him. On his own show. Yeah, it was it was just on. There's nothing else on, so I just watched that. Um, what else did I watch? I watched sort of like you know what NCIS is, right? Mm -hmm. It was something sort of like that. I don't know what it was called. You like that show? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Was it a com? Isn't there a comedy one? I thought there's like a comedy one that they have out now. No. Okay, I don't watch much TV. Mm, he watches sports. <laughs> you in the sports? Obviously, I guess I was told the karate stuff. Kung fu, yeah. What's up with that stuff? Mm. Is it kung fu? Is that what it's called? Well, I did this martial arts called Tang Sudo for six years, and that's South Korean. And then I grew out of that, and then I found Shaolin um, Gong Fu, which is basically kung fu, but what they call it in Chinese and so I started doing that and I've been doing that for four or five years hmm I actually heard you you're pretty good at it mm -hmm. mm. yeah I'll go to tournaments. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'll go to tournaments all the time I'm, I mean I went to China for a month last year I've been to Korea which that's what you first learn I guess Korean martial arts or whatever mm -hmm. you ever been there or no mm -hmm. froze my ass off one of the coolest places I've ever been oh my gosh Serious. South Korea? Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to North Korea. Yeah, I don't think they'll allow me in North Korea. <clears throat> I had a marathon last weekend. I said a lot of people went. North Korea. North Korea. Hmm. I couldn't believe it. Maybe it was fake news. There's a lot of fake news. There is a lot of fake news. I was hearing stuff about, like, as I was, like, scrolling through, like, the channels or whatever. I kept hearing stuff about Hitler. Yeah, I read. Didn't someone yeah. make a comment Spicer. or something? Spicer called uh, 
the concentration camps holocaust centers as if it's like a lobby in a hospital and then they were also talking about like using like, nuclear weapons on like children or something no that actually happened they dropped not nuclear they dropped uh chemical chemical warfare in syria um, yeah. And then Spicer said that Hitler never used chemical weapons, so that's why the Hitler thing was... Then the U.S. bombed a bunch of places in Syria. Mm. And oh, dear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I, I love martial arts. I've been doing it all my life, so... It's pretty mm. cool. Mm. Mm. I, I also played lacrosse. Did you oh, yeah? Hmm. Mm. It's not a popular sport down here. Up where we're from, it's more a lot more popular. It has been for a while. Where at? Hmm? Where'd you play at? Duluth. Hmm. The high school or? Mm-hmm. When I was there. Did you play with the boys or was it all female team? Or? All females. They wouldn't allow us to play with the guys. Like, guys were pretty. It's a lot of different rules. Mm-hmm. We didn't wear as much protection as the guys, so I, I kind of got kicked out with some of the games because, like, some of those girls would step on my feet with their cleats. Ooh, purposely? And I would, yeah, yeah, and it would hurt. So what I would do, my first reaction was this, I hit them in the head with my stick. Mm -hmm. so, I I would do somebody the same. step on my foot. Yeah. yeah, like, they would just literally, like, stomp on my feet, mm -hmm. and then I would just be like... But you're allowed to hit with a stick. No. It's not not, not allowed not at all. Not with the girls. Not in women's. Huh. We don't have any, like, we only have goggles. And women's lacrosse is basically it. field hockey above ground. Hmm. That's yeah. it. Pretty fun. Okay, though. thank God you're eating some. <laughs> You've I... ate a lot. Thanks. She's ate a lot of those fries, hasn't she? I looked down and Do I was like, Do you want some of my that. fries? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. What type of music you listen to? I like every, well not everything, I, I'm pretty open-minded, except... You don't like country, do you? I don't like country. <laughs> I really don't like country. We can be friends then. I'm I not in the country. I've tried, but no. I, I, it just it doesn't, I can't vibe with it. What's your station that you play? Well, like 94.1 or mm -hmm. 96.1 or there's 99.7. What about 97.9? Old school hip-hop. Used to. I haven't, I haven't used that Yeah, in a that's while. my go-to. Um, I even know it existed. Did you put it on my radio? I have. <laughs> Flashback Friday. Mm -hmm. Hashtag. How am I so full? Oh, uh, same we told you. you well, you have been in a hospital and you're eating hospital food, so. This makes me so disappointed. I don't know. She said she could eat two McChickens, and yeah. she barely made it through, what is it, a quarter pound? Those ho hospital food, like, was messing me up. You did talk a lot of smack, though. Mm. I can't eat this whole thing. I'm not going to uh, make it. I don't want to get yeah. you sick. <laughs> I'm not going to make you throw it up. <laughs> it's all right. You can drink your Frappuccino. It's a digestive. But, um, I used to swim, too. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. She's quite a little athlete, huh? Mm -hmm. I wanted to play baseball or softball. Um, I've also done soccer. And that's it. Maybe a little bit of tennis. Okay. Oh, good sport. Mm -hmm. Left me scraps. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Scraps. I'm sorry. I haven't had a McDonald's <laughs> fry in like 16 years. Take my French fries. Mm, I'm good. I had back food twice today. Twice. You got yourself? Mm -hmm. Everything? You want to pick up the fries maybe? While we sit here? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Give me that back so I can toss my McFlurry in it. I mean, don't make sure it's standing up. You're going to get oh, stuff everywhere. I'm, clear. I'm not done with it. It's going to be bone dry by the time I'm done. <laughs> what am I, a rookie? Oh, I don't know. Well, obviously, <clears throat> I'm the guy kind of in charge of what's been going on, I guess, the past week, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Ryan, Investigator Ryan Thurman, or Investigator Thurman. 
The guy that you talked to yesterday, I guess. Oh, was he... How can I describe him? Was he like the tall... He's a short, no, he's a short The dude. shorter one? Okay, so he was the direct attorney? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. an investigator for the district attorney. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. I worked with him before. He was helping me with the case that I had with my stepdad. Oh, yeah. Wow. What do you think of that tall guy? He was okay. I feel like I've met him before. I think I met him when I went to court once, but he was okay. Yeah. Just wondering. Sort of weird. Sort of weirdo? Sort of weird. <clears throat> And you remember when I came in yesterday, I just asked you a couple questions. Yeah. Remember I made fun of myself because because your grandma's password was one, two, three. Yeah. Four, yeah. It was I always did that with all of my phones. I don't like complicated passwords. One, two, three, four. Or I used to do zero all zeros. That's a that's a good one. Well, I don't want, you know, kinda to make you upset or make you relive anything, but I just got some follow up questions I'd like to ask you. Do you remember uh when you read your rights and all that? Yeah. Okay. Did you, did you understand all them? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to read them again just to make sure that he, I guess he read them right. You never know. And then i just like to ask you some questions, no stress, and then and then go over some stuff. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. You can decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Excuse me. You understand all these rights? Yeah. Okay. You want to talk about, I guess? Everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, whatever. Whatever you have to ask me, I'm good gotcha. to talk about. Well, I guess let's start from, let me get your full name just to make sure I... No, who you are, I guess. Cassandra Lee Bjorg. And can I call you Cassie? Which, yeah. Okay. Is that the nickname they give you? Yeah. Is that C A S S I E? I E. And what's your Lee? L E I G H. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, the female spelling. <laughs> you need my last name? Yeah, what's it? What is that like? Norwegian. Is it? it? It's supposed to be pronounced um, Bjorga, but it's too hard for Getting people. Getting Americans to say Bjorga. I'm thinking yeah. B. George. Oh, I'm yeah. that would, I've heard that one a lot. Or think Bjorn. Or B. George. B. George. Or Bjorn. I'm an American. That's okay. how you say it. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot of B. George. What's your date of birth? March 18, 2000. Damn, you did just have a birthday. And where were you staying at? Uh, the address? Yeah, you guess yeah. your grams at 1911. You remember that 1911 address? 1911 Furlong Run, Lawrenceville, Georgia. How long have you been there for, hanging out there? Over a, a year. Over a year? Well, technically, well, when they had custody of me. Like, when they got custody of me, then I was staying. I mean, I lived there before. Um, I was living there until like 2011, and then I moved out to go live in Duluth with my parents, because mm -hmm. we were all staying at my grandparents' house. So it was me, my grandparents, and my parents. So. How long did they live in that house for? A while, I guess? Which one? The Furlong. Oh, they lived there since it was built. I got you. Like 20-something years. And you got a phone number? No. Have you ever had a phone number? Or? Yes. What was that? Six seven eight seven five six seven seven nine zero. I haven't had a phone since like December because my ex boyfriend sold it. Sold yeah. it or did sold you, it? Did you want him Both. to sell it? Or no, 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 no. He. Wow. He told me, we went to the Mall of Georgia one day, and then I lost it. And then he said, oh, you might have lost it at the Mall of Georgia. So, me over here thinking I lost it, and then I found out that he just sold my phone. So, mm. I was like... Did you, did you do some karate chops on him or anything? Or well, he, he already went to jail before I could do anything. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, I guess that's payback in itself. Yeah. Did you go, uh, what's, did you graduate high school or... No. Actually, you're only... 
still a junior. Okay. Technically. At Duluth? No. I do online now. K-12 mm-hmm. International. I stopped going to Duluth in 2015. Okay. Because um, that was around the time where, like, all the stuff was happening with my parents and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I started getting scared going to school because my stepdad literally come on campus looking around the whole campus just to find me. Mm-hmm. Like, he was going in classrooms and stuff. So mm-hmm. I had to get, like, a restraining order. Yeah, I know you've been dealing with a lot of drama with that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was Duluth High School in 2015? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess as a freshman? You were a freshman? Mm-hmm. And I guess how your boyfriend Johnny, mm-hmm. how long you date that dude for? Like three months. Three months. Where'd you guys meet at? I met him through the ex boyfriend who sold my phone. Dad's payback. That's <laughs> true, I guess. I'm, um, I met him because they came to pick me up one day because we wanted to chill. And then we went to Tybee Island for like two days. Hmm. That's awesome. So. Did you guys stay in a hotel or on the beach or what? Yeah, we stayed at a hotel. Like they paid for everything. And they asked me if I wanted to come. And I was like, yeah, hmm. let's go. Let's have a, let's go have fun like, on the beach. And this was Johnny's family, I guess? No, this was like, it was just me, Johnny, Tyler, and this guy named Corey. Okay. You guys, you were you and Johnny pretty tight. Did you have feelings for him, or just kind of a boyfriend type thing? Or I had feelings. Yeah. I still have feelings for him. Oh, gotcha. I, still, I care about him. I guess I'm gonna ask a corny question: Is it love or no? Yeah. yeah. This is what he told me. Um, after Ty V, we went to Atlanta, and we were on like this. I don't know. It was like this parking lot thing. We got to see like the whole city, mm-hmm. and he told me that when we were sitting up there, that like. For a second, he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he told me that all he could see was just me and then purple around me. And he said, like, purple is, like, a sign of love. And he said, like, ever since then, like, it was, like, love at first sight or something. That's kind of cute, though. I don't know. I mean, he got married to, like, this crazy bitch, and then now, now she's, like, saying that I'm stalking her when I've only met the girl, like, twice. Yeah, I... Talked to Johnny a couple of days ago, and just talking to him, she, I think she definitely was crazy. So, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. So is he, he is sends his, his regards and all that stuff. So, is he like, is he doing okay? Is he no, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's he actually is better off than you. You know, they weren't weren't that deep or anything. So he did. He didn't really. Mm-hmm. Man, I could have sworn he did worse than me because I remember when we were in the bathroom because he. Did it with me mm-hmm. too. He kept going, and I kept telling him to stop. So. Yeah, his maybe this tougher skin. I don't. I don't, I don't really know. Hmm. Okay. So I guess let's. Uh, I guess let's start from scratch uh, about what happened. Starting from when you ran away, I guess. Is that the thirty first? Do you remember twenty eighth or something like that? I don't really. Was it? I didn't really run away. My grandma, like, kicked me out. Okay. Because, like, this is what happened. Like, I was chilling with Johnny and my other friend Sabrina, and mm-hmm. I came home because, you know, it was time for curfew because mm-hmm. I didn't want to violate my probation. So I came home, and my grandpa was asleep, and my grandma got really mad at me, and she was, like, saying, like, oh, you know, if you don't like it here, you know, we're just going to find somewhere else for you to stay. And she just said that out of the blue. Like, she just got really mad for some reason. And so I was just like, if you're going to find another place for me to stay, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to find somewhere else to go. So. And this was basically when you took off, you came back, your grandparents were home. And I guess that's when you had that argument. Wait, wait what? You see, you just had an argument with your grandma, grandma. right? Mm-hmm. Did and you? Then I left. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I got you. And then, when you left, where'd you go to? I was just staying with Johnny. Like, we were sleeping in his car. And what kind of car is that? 
It was a blue like Honda or Toyota. It was like um kind of like the car that you have, like the same style ish. Mm -hmm. Like four doors. And, mm -hmm. and then so you're kicking it with Johnny. Where are you kicking it with him at? We were just all over the place, Bailey. We were just trying to find something to do, just keep, you know, just have something to do because we don't want to just sit around and do nothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were finding, like, people to chill with and go to the mall or something. Was it all your friends you were chilling with or all his friends or a combination? Or? It was sort of, like, combination mm -hmm. between both. Who are your friends? Is it just Sabrina or you got other... I mean, I only have, like, one other friend, Izzy. Izzy. I don't like chilling with, like, a lot of people, just because I don't trust a lot of people. I'm the same way. I literally only have a couple friends myself, so she's one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, so I guess when do you decide to go back to your grandparents' house uh, in the middle of the night? It was like a couple of days after, like two or three days. Mm -hmm. You remember Saturday, Sunday? Do you have exact? I don't really remember. Like I, I didn't really even know like what day it was mm -hmm. that we went into the house. And before you did that, did you and Johnny meet up somewhere at we, a park or something yeah. to talk about we what was going on? We went to Peace Ridge Park and we talked about it. At first, it wasn't my idea at first. Mm -hmm. um, how did he even get, I guess, what was said, how did he even bring up, what was the context? He first asked me, are you afraid to die? Mm -hmm. And I said, no. And then I asked him, are you afraid to die? And he said, no. And he, and he was just talking about how we could, like, run away together, you know, that kind of, like, dream. And he asked me, he was like, would you kill your grandparents? And I kind of, like, hesitated for a minute. And I was like, why? And he was just like, I don't know, I mean, because he knows probably everything that I've been through with all of my family. And he understands that, you know, like, all I really wanted to do was just kind of get away from everything, kind of just move on with myself. Like, I wasn't having a good relationship with my grandparents. Like, it just, it started getting really bad, you know, like, that I got a charge from them because, you know, like, I fought them, you know. I might have broken, like, my grandpa's ribs when, you know, for that charge for simple assault mm -hmm. and simple battery, you know. And it just, like, it just got really worse. We just kept arguing all the time, and then, I don't know, I guess things, like, just seemed different. They didn't look at me the same anymore. Like, they didn't, I don't know, it was, it's like, they're, the vibe that they have was, like, they didn't really know what to do. They didn't really know, like, how to, like, be around me, I guess. They didn't really know, how, like, how to talk to me. So I didn't really know, like, how to talk to them either. So it was, like, it was just a really hard, like... It was like, a big age difference, too, so... Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, before I, all of the stuff happened with my parents, you know, like, they treated me so much differently, you know. They had, you know, they trusted me, you know, I could have done anything at their house, you know, like, I was free, and I loved going over there, and it wasn't like I was actually, like, living there, so, mm -hmm. you know, because I was with my parents, so I never, like, ever had that feeling, but even though I did live with them before, it, I don't know, it was just, it kind of just, like, changed throughout, like, the whole time that I was with them, so, I, I don't know, I kind of just... Grew hmm. apart. Yeah. When you guys met at the park, did he did he ever go over the actual plan on how you guys would do it or anything like that or mm -hmm. like what was that? About? Uh oh, well, <clears throat> I mean, we were just trying to figure out how to get money, and because he said that he might have had a warrant, and I didn't know if I had a warrant because, you know. My grandma kicked me out, and then that's she did the same thing that my mom did. Like my mom would kick me out, then like a couple of days later she would call the cops saying that I ran away when mm -hmm. I didn't. Like sometimes like she would physically force me out of the house, because mm -hmm. like sometimes like I would just be like, Mom, like why are you doing this? And mm -hmm. then you know she would, like literally like grab my stuff and push me out the door, and then call the cops on me. So I felt like that's what like my grandma did, and I didn't know. 
So I was already figuring that I had a warrant or something that I already violated probation. And Johnny was saying that he might have already like violated probation because he thought his mom called the cops on him or something. I don't know. But how we started talking about it was like, we started out like with, you know, what time should we go over to the house? How are we going to do this? You know, like what are we, what, you know, materials do we need to, you know, do this? So, you know, we started talking about that. And then, you know, so we decided to go around like midnight or 1, 1.30 because mm -hmm. my grandma normally went to sleep around like 11, 30, 12. So we would, we decided like, you know, we would park down the road and then the park was literally like right behind my backyard, like the neighborhood park. So I was able to go through the park and then cut through my backyard because there was a fence. Like there was the trees, then there was my fence, and then there was the house. Mm -hmm. So you could easily like go through the trees and then there was the little gate that you could go through. I didn't even think like you could even open it. Yeah, how'd you guys move that cement to, isn't there like a cement uh, block or cinder block or something? Yeah, I, I, it was pretty easy to move. Like, I was able to push the door out a little bit, mm -hmm. and then, like, it's, it was stuck, but I was able to maneuver my body over to get in the, you know, into the other side, and then I just moved the cement block over so then Johnny could get through, gotcha. and then I moved it back. Do you remember what you guys were wearing when, when you guys did this, or? I was wearing, like, mostly red. Like, I had, like, red sweatpants, I had a red hoodie on, I had, like, a black, like, a t-shirt that I used as a mask. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Johnny wore all black, maybe, like, a little bit of color. Did a hoodie have a design or anything on it, do you remember, or? I think he had a design on the hoodie. Yours? No, oh, oh well, cool. yeah, on mine, I, I had something, it wasn't my hoodie, it was Johnny's. Cause he let me borrow it. It said something on there, so it was like had like white letters, and then I guess um, he had like this uh, design on his hoodie too. And you guys said you had T-shirts wrapped around. Or they, did you guys? They were just like it was like a rags old, or something. Yeah, like an old T-shirt. What was that for? Just to like cover up our faces. Excuse me. Do you remember what shoes kind of shoes you were wearing or no? I was wearing uh, combat boots. They were like um, Tim's. You know what Tim's are? Yeah. Were like Timberlands. Br yeah. They're like brown or black? Or? They're brown. Like, like a tan. -ish. Like hiking boots type thing? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Do you remember what kind of shoes he wore? Or? Uh, I was he like a skater? Did he skate or something? Skateboard? Yeah. He, he was wearing um, some skater shoes or something. Okay. They might have been like Vans or... What color were they? you remember? I don't remember. You were living out of his car. Did he have like a lot of clothes in his car that he would change into? Yeah. Okay. He already had clothes in his car. Okay. But did he have like different shoes or did he kind of just keep one pair of shoes on? He had different shoes. He had yeah. a bunch of stuff in his car. Okay. It's kind of like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Okay, that's a, that's that's a, a good, good frame you got some good analogies, I yeah. like that. So when you guys made it to the, I guess the back door, or the back gate, mm -hmm. what would you guys do next? How'd you move up to the house? Well, we went up the stairs. To, the decking stairs? Yeah, okay. the back deck. And my grandma was still up because we got there a little bit early. So we went back down and we were kind of just chilling over where... Um, the shed is? Yeah, we were just chilling by the shed. Mm -hmm. And then we saw that the lights turned out and then we just like stayed outside for a little bit longer just to, you know, wait. And then I already had the keys to my house because I already had a set of keys. So I was able to unlock the back door and then that would, that just made everything easier. And as back door, do you mean the bottom back door or so you're still talking about the, the door and steps? Yeah, like okay. when you go up the back, on the back deck, there's two doors. Mm -hmm. There's a door on the left and a door on the right, and I went to the door on the right because the door on the left had a sensor on it, hmm. like one of those like beep beep or whatever. Yeah, okay. like the door four opens. Uh, one of the ones that kind of like announces each door. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
But the one you guys went into didn't have it. Yeah, I was able to take that one out. Because, like, it was, it's, it was, like, a really old, like, alarm system. Like, they had this alarm system for years, and all you had to do was just, like, you had to push this little button just to open it, and then just take the battery out. And I already took the battery out, like, a while ago. What was that for? You taking the battery out? Just then? to, like, sneak out. Okay. And plus, I hated that thing that went off every time. It was just, it got so annoying. Yeah, okay. So, you guys are at that back door now uh you're the first one to kind of walk inside there or how yeah. do you okay so there was stuff in front of the door because my grandma normally would block off the back door so but i was able to open so i unlocked the back door i was able to open the back door a little bit and not have the stuff in front of the door fall and you know make a noise so i was able to like maneuver in and then i moved the stuff in front of the door and then i got johnny in and then we closed the door and locked it I mean, would you guys kind of just hang out downstairs or just start moving upstairs? Or? We, we went upstairs. We immediately, well, we didn't immediately go upstairs. Like, we went to the stairs and then we were, like, just listening, just hearing what was going on. And we thought everything was good and then we went upstairs and... Oh, did you guys have anything in your hands or you just... Yeah, I had, um, what's it called? It's one of those... Tool is it to do a tire or yeah, is it tire to fix iron. it? It was okay. a tire iron. So I had one of those. Where'd you get that at? Johnny's car. Okay. See, he had one in his car. His yeah. Honda mm -hmm. or whatever. And Johnny just used his fist and he brought a black book bag um, that had duct tape in it and it had um, the tire iron in it huh. and it had gloves in it because we were also wearing gloves too. What kind of gloves? They were like. Like yeah, hospital like, gloves yeah, or regular? Like hospital oh, okay. gloves. What color were they? Do you remember? Blue. Okay. Ish? Yeah, they were blue. Okay. So. So now you guys are at the stairs, starting to go up the stairs. To, yeah. You actually had the tire iron in your hand or is yeah. it still in the book bag? I had the tire iron in my hand. You know, we got it out before we went inside the house. Mm -hmm. So I had it in my hand. And Johnny didn't have any weapon. He just used his fist. Okay. So, and then... So who's first up the stairs? Is it you and he's kind of following you, or...? Yeah. Okay. I go up the stairs. He goes into my grandpa's room, and then I go into my grandma's room. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. And then he... Do you hear kind of what's going on over there? And yeah. does that kind of cue you off to... Mm -hmm. With your grandmother there? Yeah. He's, he started going at it, and then, you know, I could hear my grandpa just yelling, you know, them fighting, and then... I started getting the rush, and then, you know, like, that's when I started hitting my grandma in the mm -hmm. head. So you took the tire iron, is it just... I started just, just beating her head with it. Does she have a pillow over her head, do you know? Or no. Or she have a pillow around her head or something? Because... Mm -mm. Okay. Well, the way she was laying was she was on her stomach, and her head was facing to the right. If you're looking at... If you go into the bedroom, mm -hmm. you look at the bed... So her head was facing like the opposite direction, so she couldn't see me coming through the door. Okay. So, and then he started, you know, beating my grandpa, and then um, after a little bit, I like hit her really hard on the back of the head, and then she started like screaming and stuff. And was yeah. that the first hit? Yeah. The back of the head. Yeah. That's where I mainly hit her in the head. Um, she huh? bit me. I think I took a picture of that yesterday, right? Yeah, she bit me in my finger too, but I forgot which finger. It was on my right hand. I think it was either like my middle finger or it was that one. And when you guys, when you and your grandmother used to get into it, is that that's kind of how she she did she bite you before to yeah. kind of get you off or whatnot? Yeah, she's okay. bitten me before. Well, she's bitten you before too. Yeah. I haven't bitten her, but she, oh, okay. she's she's bitten me before. Okay. Have you, like when you guys are in it, or did you just yeah. come up and bite you? No, like when we were in it. Oh, okay. Like I had this um, mark on my hand from where she bit me for a while. Where did she bite you that night? On your finger? Yeah. Anywhere like, else? On my arm, okay. where they took the picture mm -hmm. of it, and then that was it. So you're in the bedroom with your grandmother when. I guess when do you meet back up with Johnny? Do you do you leave your grandmother there, or kind of what happens? 
Um, so I started hitting my grandma, and I already had duct tape, and then, you know, Johnny's doing his thing, mm -hmm. and, you know, I stopped hearing Johnny doing whatever, and so he comes in the room with me and my grandma, and, um, you know, he helps me, like, tie up my grandma with the duct tape, and... And how do you tie, how did you do that, is it just her hands, or... I got her hands, I got her whole head, and then I got her ankles. Okay, with her hands. So it's behind her back. So it's like, just like this? Yeah. Okay. And then, what about anything on her head or neck, or did you... Yeah, um, yeah, we kind of like wrapped the duct tape around her head-ish. So, and then that was it. What was that for, just... Just so then it kept, she kept it on. Oh, okay. I just cut it. Then you said her ankles, too? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Johnny helped you... Tie her up? Yeah, I mean, I mostly did it, but I needed, like, a little bit of help because, you know, she was, like, you know, moving around and stuff, and then, so he helped me a little bit, and then he went back into my grandpa's room, and then... Where were you doing when he went back in your grandpa's room? He, I was still with my grandma, and then... In her room? Yeah, and then I dragged her into my grandpa's room, and then Johnny asked me to go get some knives. So I got some knives from downstairs in the kitchen, and I got three like, big butcher knives. And then that's when he started like stabbing my grandpa, because then I went back upstairs, because I dragged my grandma into my grandpa's room, so they were both in there. Mm -hmm. And then um, I asked her for the code to her um, safe, because I already knew that she had a safe in her closet. I just didn't know it was in the safe. Mm. So, I mean... Did she tell you? Yeah, I mean, like, she kept saying, like, I'll give you money, I'll give you my keys, you know, I'll give you anything you want. But, um, yeah, she, she just kept was saying... Was she able to talk with the duct tape around her face? Yeah. Like, she was, she was, like, mumbling. You could still understand her, but, like, at the same time, you couldn't. Like, it wasn't like her mouth was shut. Like, yeah. Almost as if... It was like that. Okay. Almost as if like, she could still move her mouth enough yeah. to make the words be on the tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when he's when Johnny's uh, stabbing your grandfather, is it mainly in the torso or yeah. okay? Yeah, he, he just I don't know why he did that, but he just kept going. And How many times? More than two? More yeah, five? More than five. Okay. It was more than five. Um, and then what happened when when he was done with that? What what were you doing there? What were you guys doing next? Um, so we we left my grandma sitting there on the floor, and then I got the code to the safe. So Johnny's watching my grandpa and my grandma, and I'm over. How'd you get that code? Did she tell you guys? Yeah, or she told us. Okay. Um, so she told us the code, and, you know, I went in the closet because that's where they kept the safe. So, you know, I go in there, you know, I'm checking out all the stuff, and I grab the book bag, and I just start stuffing the book bag with everything, you know? Like, there was envelopes just filled with money. There was probably about, like, $1,000 that we found in that safe that they were just saving. And Did you know about that money, or you just said no? Well, my grandma, it was kind of weird. Like, she was kind of giving me, like, an idea about it before. Like, she was saying, what if I just gave you $1,000? Would that just make the world a better place? I'm just like, no, I don't want $1,000, you know? So, you know, she kept saying that, and then, like, when I saw it, I was just like, wow, she actually had a thousand dollars in it. Huh. Like, that's so you, crazy. So you guys put that stuff in a bag and then, uh, jo basically Johnny's in the, in your grandpa's room mm -hmm. with your grandpa and your grandma in the room. Mm -hmm. Do you come back in there and say, hey, I, I got the stuff or mm -hmm. what? Okay. Yeah, I go back into the room and I tell him that I got the stuff and so after that, he, um, slits my grandpa's throat and then we drag my grandma into the bathroom and <clears throat> what was the reason for that just to bring her to the bathroom yeah I don't know why we brought her back into the bathroom I guess we didn't want to bring her into the bedroom okay so we just brought her into the bathroom um and then yeah and then Johnny slit her throat too mm -hmm. and I actually hit her in the back of the head with the tire iron. well not the back of the head but like right where your spine is because he was telling me he was like if you hit right there like just one like good hit you can just knock the person out and then they'll be dead mm -hmm. and she was like pretending to be dead for a while like I would you know check up on her and 
I would see that she was still breathing, and I'd be like, Johnny, she's still alive. What the heck? And then, like, Johnny finally, like, like made the, like, last blow, and she, it was, it was kind of creepy, because she was, like, scared uh-huh. to die, like, she, she shattered herself and repeated herself. How did she? It was kind of gross. That was really... So you said the last blow, though, was... was just, like, the last hit, like, that. Last hit with the tire iron? Mm-hmm. And who did that? You were Johnny. Johnny. Had, had her throat already been slit? It, and then after he, like, did that, then he slit her throat. Oh, okay. So her throat wasn't slit until... Mm-hmm. Excuse me. And then did you guys pretty much just leave the upstairs, or...? Yeah, well, we were just... Like, After that, then we closed the doors, and then we were just checking around, seeing if everything was okay, and then I started grabbing my clothes, and started stuffing bags with my clothes, and then Johnny's, you know, walking around, doing his thing, checking to make sure that they were both dead, and checking to make sure if we uh, didn't forget anything, and yeah, then we left, and then we came back to the house. When you guys left, where'd you guys go to? We went over to like Kroger or Publix to go get something to eat, and then we went back to the house. So we just kind of like chilled there. Which which one? It was like on Old Peach Tree. Were you in Johnny's car when you guys left, or? No, we took my grandpa's car. Did you leave Johnny's car at the mm-hmm. apartment or the park, rather? Yeah. Well. After I, I got my grandpa's car, I drove over to Johnny's car, and we dropped Johnny's car off over by um, these little, like, stores. Um, I forgot. It's over by the Kroger that we would normally go to. So. Would you go to the Kroger at Riverside? I think. Yeah, it was like a Kroger, like a Sonic. hibachi. Mm-hmm. There's a Sonic yeah. right in front of it. The mm-hmm. brand new QT on yeah. this corner, and they took out the old QT. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, like, you come out of your... Neighborhood, you make a left, you go down to Duluth, and you make a left, mm-hmm. and then the Kroger's on the right. Yeah. Okay. So is that car still there, probably, or no? Yeah, I okay. bet the car's still there. It's parked in like, uh, it's like over where like Quinceanera place is, you know? There's like, uh, there was like. The Hampton Inn, more towards the Hampton Inn. Yeah. Okay. Near, near like the uniform store. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somewhere it was over in the, that area. Kind of behind the old QT. Yeah. Okay. And then you guys went back to the house, mm-hmm. and then did you do anything to the doors, or? Johnny did. He glued the doors. Okay. He went to the, my garage and found the, what's it called, the, I don't know. Caulk. Yeah. So, yeah, he did that. Okay. And was the meat, the point of that is what, just? He just did that. He just decided to do that. He didn't tell me. I just watched him, and I was just like, okay. Okay. Like, you got it. Mm-hmm. Did you guys kind of just stay in the house then, or? Yeah, it was kind of both. We were kind of like in and out of the house for a couple days. It was just me and him. We didn't tell anyone. I mean, I told I told my friends that my grandparents went on a vacation mm-hmm. for like two weeks. Um, Did you call some of your friends ever and say, hey, if you guys want to come over? I spoke to some people, and that's just the rumor going out. They said, hey, if you guys want to come over, not for a party or anything, but, you know, I got some money. Grandparents are out of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I would just tell people, like, I would just be like, hey, you know, like, I have, like, the free crib, but I wouldn't have people come over. You know, I would just be like, if y'all are trying to chill, I'll come meet up with you. Okay. Oh. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't let them go to the house. Right. That makes sense. Now, can I ask a question? Um, obviously, when you guys were done with everything, um, you had a, had some blood on you, I bet. Yeah, I had some blood on my face. Okay. Did you change clothes? Yes. Yeah. Were you in the house when you changed your clothes? Yes. Okay. Did you, you had extra clothes because you lived there. Yeah. Um, what about Johnny? Did Johnny have to change clothes? Yes. Okay. What did you guys do with those clothes? We put them in a trash bag, and I think we left the trash bag in my grandpa's car. Okay. With the knives that okay. he used. So, it was all in, like, one trash bag. And that backpack you were talking about that he used, did it have a design on it? It was, it was just all black, so Jansport. Just okay. one of those small little 
one or two pocket book bags. Okay. Um, and when you dropped his Honda off, mm -hmm. um, what was the point of leaving it at the Kroger? Um, he said that he didn't want to drive around with that car anymore because technically that wasn't his car. I mean, it was. It was under his mom's name. Okay. So, he wanted to use, like, my grandparents' car instead. Because if somebody came looking for you guys, they could come looking for... His car. His car with that his mom had. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you guys were, I guess, together for the two, three, however many days, mm -hmm. uh at the house. When you guys left, did you go to any, make any purchases to buy some new clothes using credit cards or anything? Because yeah. we got receipts in that. So do you remember whose credit card you used? It was my grandma's credit card. Or it was a debit card. A debit card? Do you yeah. remember what, what bank it was or anything or no? Uh, it was a Visa debit card. And she told you would it ring, ring a bell? You remember what color it was? It was gray. Gray, like that. It had like it, it said like C I T I. Oh, city. City, yeah. That, yeah, that's a bank. Yeah, or I think the bank that she had was. Um, well, that's like a a banking card you could use for mm -hmm. debit and stuff like that. Is that the only card you used, or you guys used a bunch? That was the only card that we used. Yeah. Did you take your grandma's purse, or? Yeah, I took my grandma's purse. Where was that at? It was in the car. Your grandpa's car? Yeah. Okay. Um, did you take your anything from your grandpa? Or anything else from your grandma? Did you take any of her other stuff? No, I'm, I mean, she had some, like, pill bottles, a couple pill bottles, so everything that was in the safe, you know. We just what, what else was in her purse? Anything else in her purse? No. I what about uh, men? They carry wallets. Do you take grandpa's wallet? I couldn't find his wallet, so I had no idea where his wallet was. Mm -hmm. So I just had my grandma's wallet in her purse. He hid it underneath his bed. We found his wallet. Oh, so. yeah. Smart guy, because we almost didn't find his it His wallet either. and his cell phone were under his bed. Really? Yeah. I guess that's where he started hiding it. So you basically were using your grandmother's phone for all the communication on calling your friends and all that? Yeah. Did you did you have, like how, I can't memorize numbers worth of shit. Did you just memorize them or you went through your phone? To... I didn't have a phone at the time. Well, I mean, I did, but didn't have uh, any data in it or anything. So I wasn't calling anybody. I was just mainly using like social media. Oh, I gotcha. So, and. Is that your Snapchat where you use them? Yeah. Okay. I was mainly just using Snapchat to, you know, contact like just a couple of my friends to okay. chill with them and stuff. Um, did you guys ever chill with anyone during that week at all, or no? yeah? Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I chilled. We chilled with some of his friends, some of my friends, and kind of a mixture of both of our friends. Because yeah. um, we sort of had like the same friends ish, like so. Yeah, we were just chilling with them. You know, we would just go meet up with them. We would never have anyone come over to the house. Mm -hmm. We were just like, that's that's a no. That's a big no-no, so. And you said, I think I asked you before, you did go to karate or, or whatnot on Wednesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was Johnny, was he with you or you mm -hmm. left by yourself? Yeah, it was me and Johnny. You guys both went inside or yeah. no? Okay. Yeah, we both went inside. He, wanted, he was interested in seeing what the place looked like. And I forgot if Shifu, my master... Was here, or if he went to China, because Johnny really wanted to meet Shifu. So I was like, okay, let's go meet him. Where's, it, where's that place at? It's, um, uh, Duluth slash Norcross. What's it called, I guess? Shaolin Institute. I don't even know. Shila? Shaolin. How do you spell it? S H A O L I N. What's wrong with that? Do you know how to spell that? I don't know how. I would have been like, I was it's called school. Institute? Yeah, the Shaolin Institute. And he says in Duluth area? Yeah, it's like... What streets are off of? Or do you know the exact address? No. If you look, if you just look up the Shaolin Institute. Yeah, gotcha. um, do you remember who you talked to when you were there? Uh, who was there? Um, I can't remember her name. She was one of the new ladies. Uh, there was a lady named Rita who was there. And then one of the office ladies was there. How long you guys were there for? Just for like 
10 minutes maybe. We, we weren't long. I just showed him around. And I know this is, I mean, it's, I'm sure you went to a lot of different places. Do you remember all the places you kind of went to to buy clothes and things like that? Like, were you guys uh, well, the mall or? Yeah, we went to, um, where did we go? Uh, I think we went to the mall in Georgia to go buy some clothes. Maybe Sugarloaf Mills. Yeah. Remember what stores or anything or no? No. Mm -hmm. So both of them, or you just don't know which one or mall. Both of them. Was it both? I mean, we were we were around the area. Um, Always driving your grandpa's car, or did you drive your grandma's car too? No, no, we just just my grandpa's car. Okay. Didn't even touch my grandma's car. Um. Yeah, we were we were just all around like Swanee, um, Lawrenceville. Uh, we went over by um, what's it called, Johns Creek area. What for? Um, something falls. There's like this huge settled bridge. What's over there? What what is that? It's like this. It's like the uh, Chattahoochee River. Okay. And then there's like this huge bridge that you can walk across. You can jump off. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really cool. Did you jump off of it? No. Uh -huh. It was too cold. Mm -hmm. Do you know if the, uh, I guess, we got some a good amount of blood on a pair of socks you wore. Did your shoe, did you ever take your shoes off or? What shoes? I don't know what shoes, but I'm saying we got blood on your socks. Do you know if your shoes popped off or something or did you step what? in blood by mistake or? Depends on. Did you little... did you wear your boots the whole time? Is kind of what he's asking. Yeah, yeah. But I don't remember getting so blood on my socks. Those little those little ankle socks I guess oh, you wear. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We were sometimes we use those for gloves too. Oh, okay. Because um, our hands were getting really sweaty, and then uh, we got some of my socks and just put on some of my socks, and then that's how. Use that as like a glove for yeah. grip and stuff. Yeah, I was wondering. Why Another question for you too. I noticed that all your bed sheets and sheets were taken off of your bed. Did you kind of bring all that stuff in the living room so you wouldn't have to go upstairs or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's where you guys slept pretty much. We slept in the TV room. We didn't want to stay upstairs. Okay. So, um, Johnny kind of. When you guys were at the park, um, and you were talking about kind of the plan, yeah, was it kind of the plan that you would attack your grandma and he would attack yes. your grandpa? Yes. Um, and then, but during that kind of conversation where you guys had that, and you were talking about maybe getting out of town and stuff like that, starting in your new life, starting over and whatnot. Yeah. Um, how come you guys did stay? Well, because. In town? This is the plan. First, we were gonna get my grandparents. Ooh. You hot? Um, you hot? Yeah, I want to give her the oh, okay. smushy things. Okay. What? Well, your yes. uh, exercise yes. stuff. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. So the reason why we stayed in town was because the plan was we were gonna give both of our families. That's why. I, hold, hold on. What? Okay. So. The plan was that we were both going to get both of our families, but first we got my grandparents. Then that's why we went over to Johnny's house, and we attacked his sister and her boyfriend because we were, he wanted to kill his family. Okay. So that's like, we stayed in town for a couple of days because, you know, we wanted to get some money, we wanted to get ready to leave, and then that plan, just going over to his house, kind of just like, it didn't work out at all. It, it just went, it went downhill from there. Now, there seems to be a pretty big gap yeah. still, though, between your grandparents and then attacking his sister and the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. was, was that kind of in the plan? Yeah. To well, try to get away with it for the week and then yeah, kill I, them? Well, we weren't really, like, going on, like, a week thing. It was kind of just, like, a day-to-day -day kind of thing. Like, what are we going to do today sort of thing. But, I mean... We wanted to get out of town like, as soon as possible. Okay. But just 
how it all just kind of timed out. Thank you so much. Didn't really like. It just I don't know. It didn't really work out as we planned it to be. Okay. So. So there was no. So you guys basically stayed in town after your grandparents because the plan was then to kill Johnny's family and maybe get some more money? Yes. Okay. And it wasn't like a set schedule on Saturday at 5.55 p.m. we're going to go kill him, but more of a day-to-day -day thing? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, we were we were just planning on doing it at night mainly. Okay. So, so what made you guys pick that night that you did it and not any of the other nights before? Was anybody going to be at the house that shouldn't have been or... Were you waiting on someone in particular to be there with them? Who's in Johnny's family? Do you got a mom and a dad? Just a mom, two sisters, and that's it. Okay. And um, yeah, we were we were really like planning on like what time. We were just kind of like just going how it went, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just seeing how it would go, and then it, it just kind of like really downhill from there. Okay. Um. With the bear spray and everything, the baseball bat. The what spray? We had like bear repellent that we bought from Bass Pro Shop. What was that for? For the, just to like get them away or to like kind of like knock them out. Okay. That stuff is strong, like. Yeah. That stuff, oh my gosh. We have to get sprayed with like the obviously non bear spray. Mm -hmm. And that stuff is strong. So did you spray it on them? Yeah, we both did. Um, well, I mean, Johnny did more. He sprayed more because my bottle stopped working for some reason, so I couldn't like really use it. And you know, it was it was so crazy. Like it was just all a rush. Like it was just the spray was going everywhere, and it was like like your eyes were burning, like your right. body was burning. It was oh, it was so painful. Like. And who did you guys spray? Who got sprayed with that? Uh, one of Johnny's sisters and her boyfriend. Was anybody else home? No. Okay. Did you guys do anything to the house when you were there? Like, anything, did you do anything with the windows or you just kind of were chilling out there? And we just kind of just chilling there. Were you waiting on them to get home? Yeah. Like that was the plan? Yeah. Because you obviously waited at your house to make sure Grandma went to bed and to both, I was. I, I assume your intention was to catch them while they were sleeping. Yeah. And then with Johnny's house, you went before everybody else got back for the night. Yeah, because like our plan was like. Really why didn't like, you want to attack them while they were sleeping? I'm not sure why we didn't do that, but um, he kind of said it would be a lot easier if we kind of just waited for them to each come home, so then we could each of them just the knock them out. Yeah. And it didn't really go like that. Okay. Did you guys talk about, much about the incident actually at Johnny's or no? No, I, we I kind of segued into it just because I, I was wondering why they stayed in town so long, but I didn't realize that was the reason, was because they were planning to kill Johnny's family too. Mm -hmm. Who, whose idea was that? Was that also talked about at Peachtree Ridge Park? Yes, that was Johnny's idea because then that's, why, that's the reason why he asked me if I wanted to kill my grandparents. Cause he wanted to already kill his family, and he was like, "Let's be Bonnie and Clyde." Hmm. You said that. Yeah, I was like, "Okay." That's why. That's what I first said when, uh, cause I'm the one that got called out to the scene initially, and that's the first thing that came out of my mouth. So. Bonnie and Clyde. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the movies? Of course. You have or you haven't? Yes, of course I have. Of course. Oh, sure. of course I'm yeah. too young. I didn't I'm think... 29 and I have not Thank you. Yeah, my mom was really into like old movies, so okay. as I was a child, I used to watch like a lot of old movies. Hmm. I guess with your grandparents, then we can move on to Johnny's. I mean, did you, was there like ever a snapping point or... I mean, do you feel bad about what happened? Do you think she deserves what happened? Or what, you know, how are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm not in your shoes, With you know? my grandparents? Yeah. I mean, I feel terrible. I mean, I feel like the worst person on the planet. But at the same time, it's it was kind of just like, I don't know. I mean... I feel heartbroken 
but I don't know. It's really weird. Like, I'm just, I'm really sad about it. And that's, like, one of the reasons why, like, I wanted to, you know, kill myself. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and just overdose. Because, you know, like, there was so much stuff going on between me and my grandparents already. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore, you know, like. Um, like you said, with his follow-up question, though, I mean, did they deserve it? Did Grandma deserve it? Did Grandpa deserve it? Or... Was it kind of just more getting away from your own family? It was more kind of just getting away. Okay. Um, so you don't, you don't think that Grandma did anything? I mean, I was pretty pissed at her for, you know, the couple times that, you know, like, she would call the cops on me for, you know, no reason sometimes. Or, like, um, just, like, a lot of the stuff that she would say would be really offensive because it would be about my mom. Who who did you have a... Because your, your grandparents are essentially your parents at this point. Yeah. And they've been taking care of you for how many years and you, you live with them. It's a day-to-day -day thing. Mm -hmm. Who did you have a more contentious relationship with? Who was the one you were butting heads with all the time? My grandma. Your grandma more so than your grandpa? Yeah, I couldn't talk to my grandpa. Like... I, like, I I did not have a real good relationship with him. Like, I've, you know, before we did, but then, I don't know, like, I wasn't able to talk to him okay. as much, and he kind of, like, pushed me out. Pushed you out of his life a little bit. Do you think that maybe, was it Johnny's plan to you get your grandma and he get your grandpa or did you want to kind of get your grandma yourself because of your relationship like your your strained relationship it was sort of johnny's idea more i mean i don't know i i, I didn't i don't think lady like, deserved it but i just wanted to get away from all of that you know mm -hmm. like I was so tired of dealing with my family. It, it felt like I didn't even have a family. Like it, it, it felt like they weren't there. Like even though they tried to help, it's just like the way that they were kind of doing it was like I don't know. Like it didn't really work out. So I don't know. I, I just I started were, feeling. Like, was your mom ever part of the plan? Of killing them, mm -hmm. I wanted to. Was it something you and Johnny discussed, or is it something no. you just thought of? Well, I mean, we did discuss it, but then Johnny was like, "No, we can't waste our time on them," and I was like, "Okay," but I wanted to. Johnny kind of told you not to. Yeah. That it wouldn't be beneficial. Yeah, because you know. I, I don't know what's really going on with my parents, you know, I mean, we drove over by their house the other day, they have new cars, you know, I don't know what guns they have in their house, you know, I don't really know what's going on inside their house, so, I mean, I don't know. You didn't know what you would be met with. Yeah, I didn't. Whereas your grandparents, you knew it was kind of a safe bet yeah. that they'd be sleeping at that time of night and yeah. you could attack them separately and be able to control them. Yeah, because I didn't, I don't know what my parents would do. They're insane. So you guys kind of had a plan for each kind of lifestyle of your families. Like your grandparents obviously went to bed a little earlier. Mm -hmm. You could just wait until they were asleep and then you could each respectively take one and mm -hmm. kill them. And then with Johnny's family, he said it would be easier for you guys to kind of mm -hmm. knock them down one by one mm -hmm. and kill them when yeah. they returned. Did Johnny bring a backpack to that one too? Like he brought to your parents, yeah. grandparents? He brought a baseball bat because we bought a baseball bat. Where'd you buy the baseball bat from? Um, it was at, um, where did we go? I can see the store. Um, it was, I can't remember the store. But I, I just, I remember him seeing him buy the bat. So he bought the bat. We brought it over Did to the house. Did he swipe for it or pay cash? Cash. And when do you think you guys bought the bat? Like after you killed your grandparents? Yeah. Okay. 
And was this in preparation for killing Johnny's parents? Yes. Family? Yes. So he brought a backpack? Yes. What was in the backpack? Duct tape. Two things of duct tape. We had the, the bear repellent, and then we had this sort of like a hammer-ish thing. It was wooden, and then it was a mallet. Okay. Yeah, a mallet, and on the baseball bat. Anything else? That was it. Um, and then you brought the bat? Yeah. Did you bring the knives to that one? Mm, they were already in the car, but we didn't bring them out. You they didn't were, plan on them? Yeah, we didn't plan on using them. What, you guys had a bag, too, full with, like, peroxide, bandages, band-aids, yeah. syringes. What was that about? Just Someone in cut case. Them? Oh, okay. Just in case. Like, I, um, I wanted to bring a first aid kit just in case whatever happened, you know? Did you get injured when you guys were attacking your grandparents, other than her biting you? No. What about Johnny? Did he get any cuts? Johnny got, he got hit in the nose, like, right here. Um, so that was from your grandpa? No, that was at his house. No, I'm saying at oh, your grandparents' oh, house. No, 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 no. So you got bit, but Johnny didn't get anything? No, he might have just like broken like um, a finger or two. Maybe, yeah. How did, how did he do that? Just by punching my grandpa, because he didn't, he didn't use like any weapons except for a knife. Mm -hmm. I don't think he even used a tire iron on my grandpa. He was just using his fist, so. What about the, you guys had a scale and stuff like that in the bag? Mm -hmm. was, was that Johnny's or yours? It or? was Johnny's. The scale? Yeah. Yeah, that was Johnny's. Was he sell or just buy or what? We were just using it just to make sure no one was like... Ripping like, off? Yeah, ripping us off. Because sometimes like that's what people would do. Because yeah, we were smoking weed. So we're not there at police. Yeah. <laughs> we were yeah, we were smoking weed and sometimes like our do you know what a plug is, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know. I think yeah. she thinks we're really old. No no no, like, I didn't know if you guys knew like that term. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like sometimes like our plug would like short us and we just you know, wanted to make sure like she ever did, you know. Mm -hmm. So Did she ever short you or no? Only a couple times. I mean the reason why she was shorting us was because she was going to get me a phone. So every time, like, we would buy from her, you know, she would put in money to get me a phone. Hmm. What kind of connect was she that she could get you a phone, too? She work at a phone store? No. She's just this old lady. An old, old lady? Old. <laughs> yeah, she's like this old 80-something-year-old lady. She sells drugs. She's crazy. I call her mama bear. She was almost like a mom to me. She's pretty cool. Do you get, is that at that mobile home place you buy that dope from or no? Hmm? Isn't there a mobile home? I don't even know what it's called. I don't think it's the greatest area. Uh, isn't there a mobile home off of Cedar, Seaver or? You have no idea what I'm Where does she live? She lives We're over, not going to arrest her. We we just, she lives over in Swanee. I forgot what it's called, what the area they call that. I don't know. But yeah, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, give us a second. You gotta use the bathroom or anything or no? Sure. Even eating that Mc McDonald's? Um. Yeah, I'll go to the bathroom. Give us a second. We'll just grab one more detective real quick. Yep. Um, you want those fries or are you done? Okay. All right. Get this down smell out of here. <laughs> here, take your blocks. What's the matter? I'm trying to remember what time I had to take my pain medication. Okay. Um, we will leave the thing for you. Okay. All right, just hang tight. Oh, uh, okay. I'll be right back. To do your photographs and then pictures. We're still waiting to find someone smarter to read your medical stuff. Okay. Um, just quick question. Yeah. Um, so we found obviously your grandpa's car at Johnny's house. Yeah. Is that the car you had the whole time up until you went to Johnny's house? Mm -hmm. And then whose car did you take from Johnny's house? If His grandpa's sisters. car was still there? His sisters. Yeah. And what kind of car was that? It was um, a Honda. SUV is it was gray. 
Okay. Uh, the reason why we took that car because we couldn't find the keys to my grandpa's car, but we found his sister's keys. Okay, so you lost the keys to grandpa's car? Yeah. In Johnny's house, probably? Or? Yeah, it was okay. in Johnny's house. Um, do you remember what you were wearing when you guys attacked Johnny's family? I was wearing... Yeah, I was wearing a blue shirt. I said, um, it's something like good vibes only. It was like halfway to here. It had like, it was blue, like a light blue. It had like, uh, the sleeves kind of like had holes in them. Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah, it was just a light blue. And then I was wearing jeans. Is that what you were wearing when you got picked up? Yeah. Okay. When, when I, when what about Johnny? Which, because Johnny wasn't wearing, when he got to your, oh. his buddy's house, he wasn't wearing many clothes. Uh, he... Yeah, when we went over to his friend's house, he was only in shorts. What was he wearing when he attacked his sister? Uh, I don't remember. Don't remember. But he took all of his clothes off, like he stripped. And put them where? Um, I don't remember. Why did he take them off? Because he was burning, like his whole uh, body was burning. So yeah, like he had to like were the clothes wet with the stuff? Yeah. Okay. He had to do like a milk shower. Like he literally like stripped. Did you guys buy milk yeah. to do the milk shower? Yeah. Okay. Because we found the milk jug in the back of the niece. Um, is that? Okay. Um, in Grandpa's car, there was a lot, a lot of bloody clothes. Yeah. And you're telling us 100% it was just you and Johnny. Yeah, it was just me and Johnny. Nobody wasn't else was involved? No one else was involved. Okay. So all the bloody clothes and everything else, that, that's going to be you and Johnny and you and Johnny only. Yeah. It was only you and Johnny that planned to kill Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. It was only you and Johnny that planned to kill his family. Yes. It was only you and Johnny that decided not to kill your mom and dad. Yes. Okay. Um, so, when you guys changed, mm -hmm. did you change in the house? I changed at his friend's house. Well... Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Let's go back to Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. Did you change at your house? Yeah. Okay. The boots in your bedroom, are those the boots that you wore? Yes. And you only have one pair of boots like that? Just those Timberlands. Those Tims? Well, they weren't, they were like knockoff Tims. Right. But yeah, those were the only shoes I was wearing. You were wearing them the whole time? Not the, well, when we went over the, I grabbed a pair of Converse. Too, okay. But I wasn't wearing those Converse. I bet the whole time the attack on yes. Grandma and Grandpa happened? Yes. Okay. Um, and when we were riding over here, you, you noticed a lot of shit that even he and I missed, like even in his car. The, what is it called? Starship Sting Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> so you noticed what his lights were called. You saw the little bumper sticker that I could barely see from the back seat. Like... <laughs> And you were talking about detectives and investigations and stuff like that. So obviously that's what we do, and we do this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, we can basically piece together kind of what happens based on the evidence and stuff like that. But what we never can fully explain is why it happened or what happened. Um, like the reasons it happened. Like why we did what we did? Yeah. I mean, the main reason why I did what I did was because I kind of just wanted to get away from my family. How were you feeling? So that was your plan going into it. Killing Grandma and Grandpa would get you further away from your family. Yeah. When you were actually attacking Grandma, mm -hmm. when you heard Johnny attacking Grandpa, you said you got a rush. Yeah, I had like this, like, kind of like this rush where I was like, okay, like, I'm ready to do this. You know, like, you know, like, it's, you know, going to happen. There's no going back. So it wasn't like a good rush. It was kind of just like, kind of like, okay, like it's go time. I, I gotta do this, you know. Like I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. No, I'm not gonna pretend I'm any expert in karate or anything like that. I got a cousin who's a Filipino world champion. <laughs> he's, he's pretty good at what he does in whatever art form he does it in. Mm -hmm. um, but I know a lot of it is kind of that controlled aggression. Yeah. Okay. Um, no lie that this was a pretty violent attack on grandma and grandpa. Yes. Were you able to kind of control your aggression based on all your training over these years? Were you angry? Were you were you sad when it was going on? What kind of kind of walk me through what was going in, on in your head? I mean, was it 
like you said, the rush where it's go time, I just need to do what the fuck we came here to do. Yeah. Or was it like, fuck them, they gave me curfew, they deserved it, it was let's like, get this shit going. It's both. Both? Honestly, like, I mean, I stopped doing kung fu for a while just because, you know, my mind wasn't there, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I just, all of my feelings were, and my emotions were all over the place and I wasn't able to focus. So that really affected, you know, my Kung Fu. But when I was there, you know, like, I don't know, like, just all of my emotions kind of just, like, came out when it was happening. Like, I was just angry and I was sad, but I was heartbroken at the same time, you know? Because it was just like, you know, why did all of this stuff have to, you know, happen with my family, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, why did I have to deal with all this bullshit, you know? And it's just... I, I just kind of really got tired of it and I couldn't handle it anymore. Like, I just kept exploding inside almost. Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted to just run away and just be by myself with someone, you know, and just start my life. Like, I, I was just tired of being. And you know, grandma and grandpa were your biggest hurdles? Yeah. Just because, you know. Is that how you saw them as your biggest hurdles to being with Johnny? No, they were my biggest hurdles because of probation. Okay. If I didn't get probation, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in this, like, I don't know, like, probation kind of really messed me up because, you know, I was going to get a job, you know, I was going to, like, start getting money, just, you know, starting my life, and then once I got probation, it kind of just, like, really messed up everything, you know, like, I had to be home at a certain time, and I couldn't do right. as much stuff as I, you know, used to do. And, you know, that really made me angry because, you know, I used to just be able to do whatever, right. you know, I wanted to, you know. like When you, uh, during this whole week, kind of in between, um, you guys obviously took Grandma's credit card. You swiped it a bunch, right? Mm-hmm. Did you ever get denied when you were trying to swipe it? No. Okay. We tried to take cash out, but then we found out it was a debit card. Okay. That's the only reason why we could deny. It. You got a thousand dollars in cash. Did you spend it all, or do you yeah, have it all? We spent it all. Okay. On food, money, weed. And the money you were gonna potentially get from Johnny's family was gonna be what yeah. you were gonna start new with. Yeah. Where Where were you gonna go afterwards? We were gonna go like, to Florida. Okay. Anywhere in particular. Maybe like Pensacola, Panama City, just somewhere, you know, where we could just like escape. Yeah. Just somewhere where we could just kind of like escape reality. Cause I gotcha. This kind of just all I've been wanting to do for such a long time, which is... Escape reality or kill Grim and Grim? Well, no, 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 not kill them. Kind of just like escape from everything, you know, okay. just start my life, you know, like, I don't know, like just... I just wanted to move on from everything, just my family, you know, like, I, I couldn't be around them because just everything that, you know, we've all been through, you mm-hmm. know, it's just so much betrayal and lies. Did Johnny have a similar relationship with his family or was his more of a beneficiary kind of thing? He wanted their money and... Well, um, the way I saw their relationship was... Um, his mom, you know, would get on him a lot, saying, you know, like, you're not doing anything with your life, and blah, 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 when he had, like, he just got out of jail, he had two jobs, he was back in school, he, you know, he was, you know, getting his shit together, Right. and then, you know, his mom kept saying, you know, like, you're just worthless, you know, you're not doing anything. Kind of putting him down. Yeah. So it was more of a hostile relationship between them Mm -hmm. with that. Hey, do me a favor. Gotta take a look at that. That's you and him, right? Is that at your grandparents' house? It sure looks like the living room of your grandparents' house. How would that be possible? Who's taking that? I have, that couldn't be at my grandparents' house. There was no one at my grandparents' house, so that could have been at my grandparents' house. Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't shit this out. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Who, you know what I'm saying? That 
I mean, it sounds like. Well, let me watch it again. I got it. That must have been before. Who's over there? That might have been like Izzy or Sabrina. But your grandparents didn't like Johnny, so why won't we see at your house much? Like, he didn't go to my house at all. Like, I mean, that could have been not, that couldn't have been at my house. It had to be in someone else's house because we had no one at my house. It was just me and Johnny. I mean, you've been honest with me. I just, I saw that and it, obviously I've been at your grandparents' house. You know what your grandparents' house looks like. And just even the stuff said almost seems after the fact, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to tell us? Anything else you think we should know about any of this? Um. No? No okay. quite. Did you guys hurt anybody else, steal from anybody else, do anything else? No. We're not going to find a body in Johnny's trunk? No. The tire iron came from his car? No. Oh, I do have a question, though. What's up? I got a charge for, um, um, what's it called? This, it was Johnny's ex that I was stalking her? Mm -hmm. How? Oh, I have no idea. You don't know anything no, about that? No, I don't that? know anything about that. Yeah, uh, Corporal Boots will be here to talk to you in a little bit. Um, we're going to have somebody come up, take photos, and try to take your fingerprints, okay? okay? But if there's nothing else you think we didn't know, nobody else got hurt, no body in the back of Johnny's trunk? Nope. Okay. Yeah, see, who's Sunshine? Sunshine? Uh -huh. She's one of my friends. What's her real name? Kieran. Kieran? Kieran. What's her last name? I don't know. Was she at your grandparents' house? She's been there before. Was she there during when you guys were hanging out there? You sure? Or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember having anyone over at my house. And is Kieran, do you even know how to spell that or no? No, I don't. Kieran. The only place I can think of where that video was taken was at her house. Because me and Johnny went over to her is house. Is Kieran a white is chick, black chick? Black. Obviously female. Yeah. How old is she? Uh, 19. Peachtree Ridge? Used to. Dropped out. What's Izzy's real name? Is Izzy's her real name? Izzy Ellis. She, I know she goes to pastry. Or she did. She still does, I think. Yeah, I think she does too. Okay, give us a second. <clears throat> We got a problem, man. I mean, as you know, I'm a cool dude. So is she, okay? I've been doing this longer than you've been alive, okay? I'm a no bullshitter. I don't know what those DA investigators, I don't know what type of, you know, how many times they talk to you or that. Uh, we're different in that aspect, okay? I'm cool as shit with you if you're cool as shit with me. But once lying and stuff like that starts, I have a problem. I believe that there were people at that house, okay? If, 
It was. It was probably only some shots. I, I mean, I just want no if or anything left like that. Unfortunately, you're you're in this. Okay. There's no. You know, there's no saving face right now. You know. So a lot of this was on the news. Okay, as you can imagine. Okay. So he's been getting phone calls about you inviting people over to your house. Okay. So who was there? The only person who I can think of would be there would be Sunshine and her boyfriend. Okay, so Another Sunshine guy. has a boyfriend. What's Sunshine's boyfriend's name? Alex Peterson. Alex. Alex Pearson? Peterson, yeah. Peterson. White dude, black dude? White. How old is he? 20. Where's he say at? Like right down the road from me. Golf with Seaver? Yeah. Now again, you're saying you think they showed up. I mean, you have to... Is that video from during that time frame, do you know? It might have been. I don't know. So, I mean, you you remember pretty good details. I don't see how you would Listen, forget this. this is, I, is your I, grandma gonna let? Real talk. Is your grandma gonna let Johnny, Alex, and Sunshine over at her house? No, they didn't. She didn't even know about them. Okay. I mean, she knew about Johnny, but she didn't know about. So, for all these people to be inside your house, we're gonna both have to assume. That it was after you guys killed your grandparents. I'll be straight up, dude. We heard about a conversation that, that took place uh, inside there where someone was bitching about the smell. And Johnny's like, no, nah, dude, it's just sewage. There's a sewage problem upstairs. Is this not? That never came up. Now, that could be rumors. You know how when kids talk, rumors. That never was a conversation that came up. The oh. only, only people who came over to the house was Sunshine and Alex. So they did come over to the house after you killed your grandparents? Yeah, I mean, all of it was like one big rush. You know, I don't remember what day they came over. But I'm not asking for a day. I'm just asking for in seven days after you guys killed your grandparents and before you went to go attack Johnny's family. Yeah. Sunshine and Alex were at your house. Yes. What did you guys do? We just smoked some weed. Okay. Did you order food? No. Okay. Did How long they did you order food? No. You just ate weed? You know, drink to smoke weed? I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah, yeah, we I've never smoked weed, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I've heard, watching movies, you also get hungry. So you got four fucking teenagers inside a house, nobody gets hungry? Well, if we did, if we got hungry, we would have left and got something to eat. But the conversation with the smell and the sewage, that... Well, never... just don't, don't hang up on that. That's just rumors. People in high school talk a lot of... A lot of crap, and that's just rumors that I heard. Uh, I, I knew somebody, I, I mean, I've seen videos and things like that, and I pretty much knew somebody was in that house. Why would you protect them and not tell me about it? Let me ask you a question. You killed Grandma and Grandpa with Johnny. Johnny, you said, glues and what we know to be cock. Cocks the doors. Was that immediately after, or was that before people came over? It was before people came over. Okay, so I, I even poured bleach on them at, before he you did poured that to bleach the on door. Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. And you left one of the bleach bottles in the bathroom next to Grandma. Yeah. Why did you pour bleach on them? Johnny told me to. For the smell. Okay. So, when did you pour the bleach on them? It was like a couple days after, like it was like before we left the house to go go chill with some friends. Like we did it before anyone came over to the house. Okay. So you kill grandma and grandpa, you basically grab all your shit and put it downstairs. Did that happen the same day? Yes. Okay. At some point you're chilling downstairs with Johnny. You end up you're like, fuck it, let's have some people over. Johnny tells you to pour bleach on him? Yeah. You pour bleach on him? Yeah. Where did you put Grandpa's bleach bottle? Well, he used the same bleach bottle. Okay. So you bleach Grandpa first? Yeah. Then you bleach Grandma. And then you throw the bottle in the trash can. In the bathroom? I don't remember, so I didn't It's like, a, all right, let me... It's more like a Windex bottle than it is like a tub of bleach. Okay. And then Johnny cocks the doors? Yes. After you bleach them? Yes. Several days after you kill them? Yes. 
And that was because it smelled and you were having people over. We weren't intending to have any people over. We only had Sunshine Alex come over just that one day because we were like, you know, it was only a couple days after, so we thought it was going to be okay. Like, it didn't smell in the house. Do they know that your grandparents were upstairs? No. They have no idea? They had no idea. I told them that they were on vacation. Did they go upstairs at all? No. How long did they stay there for? Just for like a few hours. They came really late at night. Who else came over? It was just Sunshine and You Alex. said we only thought Sunshine and Alex were coming. That was. It was just them. No one else came to the house. Okay, let me ask you this then. You literally have showed no emotion towards your grandparents, and I don't have a problem. Like, I don't know the life that you were having, and I guess I can kind of understand that you wanted to sever that part of your life and start over again, okay? But why are you showing emotion with when I brought up Sunshine? What, what the hell is this chick? You know what I'm saying? She's just a close friend. She was there most of the time when I was going through the stuff with my parents. So she's really close to me. Not as close as Izzy though, like. Did Izzy come over? No. Does she know what happened? No. Did you tell anyone what happened? Not a person? No one knew. I told everyone that my grandparents left on vacation. Why were you even telling people that your grandparents left? To let them come over? Because my grandma kept texting everyone saying to look out for me. To what do you mean? To see where I was. Because, you know, after she kicked me out, she started texting all of my friends and everyone saying, look out for Cassie. You know, tell her to come home. And then I told people I went home. And then I told them that they weren't home. They left a note and the key saying that they were going on vacation for two weeks. Did you text anyone on grandma's phone? Yes. Pretending to be grandma? Yes. What did, who did you text? Just Sylvia. Okay, and who's that to you? She's a family member in California. Okay, so you texted Sylvia, what did you say to Sylvia? She kept asking, is everything okay? Because she just started freaking out, like, that my grandma wasn't texting her, and so I started texting her saying everything's fine. Where did you take grandma's phone from? Was it on her nightstand? Was yeah. it in her purse? It was on her nightstand. Okay. Did you take it before or after you hit her with the tire iron? It was like in the middle. In the middle? So she couldn't call 911? Yeah. No, we made sure that they couldn't call 911. No one else came to the house? It was all over the news. Yep. And it was just you and Johnny. It's just me and Johnny. And after a few days, you poured bleach yeah. on Grandma and Grandpa to mask the smell. Yeah. So Sunshine and Alex could come over. So then they wouldn't find out. And then you cocked the doors? Yeah. You cocked the front door, too. That was all Johnny. I didn't even do that. Why did Johnny cock the front door? I didn't even know he did that. To he did? Door. Well, let me ask you this. Could you use the front door to your house before? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, did you bring the Amazon packages in or did Grandma? I did. You did? Why did you? Because I did with obvious. Okay. Most people like to steal our stuff. Okay. Did you bring the mail in at all or just mm -hmm. the Amazon? Just the packages that were left on the porch. If we call Cassie, or excuse me, if we call Alex and Sunshine, they going to tell us you had a party? No. There was shit all over that house. Yeah, we destroyed the house, but we didn't have a party there. We, we didn't have a party there. Cassie, Johnny, Sunshine, and Alex, and that's it? That was it. And that video's from after, right? It must have been from Sunshine, because no one else was at the house. Okay. I didn't even think she was recording us off her phone.
And she was. You used Snapchat. Why wouldn't she use Snapchat? I didn't. She didn't know your grandparents were dead upstairs. Yeah. I didn't didn't realize she was taking a video of us. Anything else? It only seems that you're sorry you got caught that you had people over after. You don't seem to be sorry that you killed your grandparents. I am. I'm, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Knock if you need anything. Alright, Cass, they're going to take photographs of you and your injuries and then try to take some of your fingerprints. Obviously, Ms. Barrington's aware that your hands are all jacked up, but your left hand is better than your right hand. No, my right hand's better right than the left. Right hand's better than the left, so let's keep that in mind. And then if we can get something on the left, we'll try. Okay. But they were wearing gloves the whole time, so. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm going to leave this ajar. Um, if you just want to stand up for me, and then we'll start with pictures. Let's go ahead and have you stand over there. This one. Yeah. You just want to look at me with your arms down. like this with your arms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't really do that okay. this one. That's fine. Just as best as you can is fine. Okay, if you just want to turn around and face the wall for me. Okay, um, I'm going to unwrap this because she said that you had some type of markings on your arm. Yeah, I had a bite mark. Okay. Where about is your bike mark head? It's like right here. Oh, okay. Let's see, you just 
this down a little bit. I'm just trying to get to You want to lift your arm? I can't even lift my arm up right now. Mm. It's right there. That's it? That's the only part? Do you want to just hold it or? Yeah, just hold it. Actually, turn it around. Okay. And then hold it like that. Okay. And then hold it at the top. Might be easier if you roll it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, duty? Not a thing. Not a thing? Is, is the split comfortable the way it is? Okay, stand up for me.
Okay, so if you want to sit down, you can. I'm going to take uh, a buckle swab kit, which is just the wipings of the inside of your mouth, okay? It won't hurt or anything. Can you write or anything with any hand? I didn't try it. Okay. I mean, I mean, Are you right or left handed? I'm right handed. Okay. Um, can you try to sign for me? Yeah. Is that something? Does it have to be perfect? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, right here, just as best as you can. You can print if that's easier for you. Can I just put Cassie or Cassandra? Your name. Do you know your social? No. What's your date of birth? March 18, 2000. <clears throat> Just open up your mouth. It's just swabbing on the cheek. It's not like a strep test or anything. I'm not going. It's just on the cheeks. Do what, Mom? Do my witness. Sure.
Um, we're gonna try to do your prints uh, for your one finger mm -hmm. or your one hand that we can. This one. Um, okay. With that one, nothing? You can't move them? I can't move them. It's so numb and it's like throbbing and it, like, it hurts to move it. Okay. Just like you did with the vocal swab kit, can you write your name? Just you can just do it right here in this box. So, mm, I may have to take this off. No, I think I can work around it. Um, I might, I think maybe this one would be better. Okay, so I'm just going to put the piece of paper, I'm going to lay it down like this, and then kind of roll your hand into it, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you think that you would be able to do that with your left? No? It will hurt too much. Okay.
Okay, um, since we use this card, I'm just going to need you to do your name again, just wherever on here. It's fine. Okay. Just anywhere? Yeah, just anywhere. Hey, no problem. Yeah. Okay, Cassie, you doing all right still? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, I'm going to stick these in your bag, okay? Okay, for all that stuff we did to you with your prints and they, they took the swab and all that stuff, I just can't take it. I got to get a search warrant, okay? You what understand? Do you, what do you mean? I did it, but oh. what I'm saying is I had to get a search warrant to do that. Oh. I can't just take yeah, yeah. those items. Mm -hmm. This is a search warrant that I got to take those items, to take your fingerprints, the swab, and she took some pictures, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stick this in here. You can read it. And as for the incident that happened with at Johnny's place, you're charged with uh, two counts of assault, and so is Johnny because of what happened there, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously with your grandparents now, you'll, you're being charged with, uh, what should I give you? Yeah, these two, I'll, I'll serve. <laughs> I gave you two more. Two more. Anyways, you're being charged of malice murder for your grandmother and then malice murder for your grandfather. Okay? And there's just the two warrants on there. I just, like I told you, I'm a straight shooter and I'm just letting you know about that, okay? And obviously, you know my name. If you want to talk later on down the road or whatnot, you're more than welcome to call me, okay? My information's in here. So, okay? Mm -hmm. Officer Duty now is going to transport you to the jail, so. Is there someone who can wrap this better? We can probably get that done by that, a nurse. They have nurses at the jail. I hate to make you hurt even worse. Mm -hmm. If you can just, the jail's literally right around the block. It'll take two seconds and then they can. Okay. Is that the messed up one too? Yeah. Doing this as carefully as I can. Who loosened that, the crime scene oh, lady? Yes. Okay, if you would just stick your hand through there. I feel all right for now. It's only for five minutes, so yeah. yeah we're just going literally. Do you want those pads door. just to have them in your hand or no? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Which way? Um, I'm gonna go right up here. Um, do you want? Do I need to do anything with it? I wasn't even paying attention. This is actually for Johnny and. It's actually there. I'm tempted to just have you serve these for me there. Have you done that before? Just have them pulled out and just get Tonight, a lot of you reacting pretty strongly on our Facebook page after two teenagers were sentenced to life in prison with the chance of parole after pleading guilty to murdering two grandparents. 
The case has a huge outrage factor. Prosecutors say 19-year-old Johnny Ryder and 17-year-old Cassandra Bjorgi slashed her grandparents' throats. Then they threw a party at the house, caulking the doors and windows to conceal the smell of the bodies. At one point, the Gwinnett DA said he was considering the death penalty in this case. Love and Lives' Ryan Kruger talked to the assistant DA tonight to get a better understanding of how this plea went down. Family members told prosecutors they just couldn't stomach the thought of a long, drawn-out trial, having to relive those horrifying murders over and over again. So they were relieved when Cassandra Bjorga and Johnny Ryder pled guilty today. For Ryder, it was a plea full of tears and remorse. But for Cassandra Bjorga, the teenager who reportedly masterminded the vicious double killing of her grandparents, well, from her, you didn't hear a peep. Did not say a word during... Um when she had the opportunity from the judge. I wish she had given that family something. I don't know if it's that she still hasn't processed the full extent of what she's done or if, if she's just a lost soul and doesn't have it. What do you make of this young lady uh, who was charged with these serious accusations? I mean, this is awful. It's bad. In all of the interviews that law enforcement had with her, she never expressed any remorse, never showed any remorse. One of the deputies overheard her say, look at me on TV, I'm a star. What about Mr. Ryder? Did he, was he remorseful? He sounded remorseful in court. According to what he said in court today, uh, seemed to be remorseful. I don't know how genuine that is. I hope it was. Yeah. but one never knows. Cassandra Bjorga and Johnny Ryder won't be eligible for parole for at least 60 years. The two of them will be almost 80 years old by then.